If you want to set up a safe folder or a private folder on Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus 5G, then first of all, we need to open Files app by Google. And then over here, you should be able to find the safe folder over here. You can tap on it in order to set it up. Now here we can use a pin code or a pattern in order to access the the safe folder. So I'm gonna use a simple pin code in my case. Press next and then confirm your code. There we go, press got it. And now we can start adding files to that folder so that the access is locked behind that password that you just set. So over here, for instance, now we can go to, let's say, images, and I can hide this image in that folder. All I need to do is tap on these three dots over here in the top right corner, and now I can choose to move to save, uh, save folder. Now, after I enter my password, the file will be moved here. So in order to access it, I need to enter the code, the password, and here now I have access to my file. And of course, you can store pretty much everything over here, like downloads, uh, anything you download, every image, every video, every audio file, and so on and so forth. On the other hand, if you wish to create a secure folder for apps, so that you can store apps in a certain folder where you have a password, and unfortunately, it is not really possible to do so, but you can use the app lock, which pretty much um, enables a password for selected apps. They are not stored in a folder. Everything is still visible in the home screen or lock screen, but you need to either use the fingerprint or the password in order to access it. So in order to use that feature, then in the settings, you want to go to apps and then over here you have app lock. You want to turn it on. You need to you can either use the pattern or you can tap on the change password in order to once again choose pin or just a password. So I'm going to actually switch to a pin code. Once I set the password, you don't have to sign in to Xiaomi account. We can skip that process. So if you want to do that, just select um, that you don't want to do that now. Over here we have suggestions, which we can enable and disable. doesn't really matter because if we go to use the app, lock then we can choose once again which apps should be locked behind the password so let's say i'm gonna lock youtube and now if i go back and if i try to open youtube i need to use my fingerprint or i need to enter the password and that is pretty much it thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos bye